I think one thing that a lot of people forget to do once they become leaders is constantly learn and renew their own skills and their own capabilities and making time for that is really important. Now in today's world there's a lot of online training that's very high quality. As a marketing leader you get invited to an awful lot of conferences and, and talks and you can attend courses um, and you can just take time out to go and sharpen your own skills. I think that's a small part of your time but it's an incredibly important part of your time if you want to keep up with things. I think one of the ways I cope with the pressure is to make time for myself and some of that is things that I've learnt um, help me. Um, I know that doing sport regularly helps me and so I do make sure I leave the office on time a couple of nights a week to play tennis um, and I recognise that if I don't, I don't operate as effectively the next day. Um, I think um, taking time to go off and have lunch, even if it's 20 minutes away from my desk or away from a meeting, is an important part of me just having time to reflect on things and feel like I'm prepared. And they seem like small things or obvious things, but a lot of people don't do them and I know that when I don't do them I'm less effective. Part of the ethos I try to have in my team to inspire others is to say to them constantly that I genuinely believe good business performance is always built on fantastic capabilities and happy people uh, and that you can't do it any other way. And so that for me means that my team need to prioritise their own training, their own development, the sort of things that make them feel happy and fulfilled. And I encourage them to make time for it. I don't try to cut down on any opportunity there is for training or self-development because I believe in the long run that is what makes them better business people and that delivers better results. I think one of the pieces of advice I try to give marketers is to be curious and by being curious I mean go beyond the narrow scope of your own role or the marketing department. It's really essential that you understand what makes other functions in the business tick. Um, what are the KPIs of finance or sales? Um, what are they worrying about? Um, how is it they do their job? And by doing that, you build um, collaboration ability and, and a broader understanding of the whole business that is what allows marketers to go on to be general managers and CEOs.